Hi guys, welcome back to Big John TV. St. Patrick's Day is over, and I feel like we need to quickly jump into Easter because it's coming up so fast this year. Today, I'm going to show you how to naturally dye Easter eggs. We're going to take our plain old white eggs and using just a few household, very common foods, dye them. So come on, and I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, we're going to start with, you can see my assortment of vegetables here and even a fruit. We're going to start with about a cup of carrots into a pot, a tablespoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of salt, and two tablespoons of vinegar. All right, we're going to cover this with enough water to cover it about an inch over the carrots and boil it for about 30 minutes. Next we've got about a cup of blueberries, a tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of vinegar, and this one we're going to also cover with just about an inch more of water and boil it for 30 minutes. All right, and we're taking the outer papery layers off of a, we've got four red onions. You don't want too much of the good fleshy bits, just the dry outer pieces. This goes into a pot. One tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of vinegar. Fill with enough water to cover the onion skins and boil for 30 minutes. Next we've got a very small head of cabbage. We're going to quarter it. Throw it in the pot. One tablespoon salt. Two tablespoons of vinegar. We've got the skins of four yellow onions. One tablespoon of salt. Two tablespoons of vinegar. Three beets in the pot. Our carrots and turmeric have been boiling away for 30 minutes, so now we're going to strain them. We'll set this aside to cool. Blueberries are done cooking. Strain out. This was our red onion skin. Alright, we've got our colors here. We've got our turmeric and carrot, blueberry, this is red onion skin, this is cabbage, yellow onion skin, and beet. And then I've also done a mixture here of turmeric and cabbage. We'll see how that one turns out. We're going to add one more tablespoon of vinegar into each. Okay, which one do you want to put one in, Meg? I want to do blueberry. Okay, so take this one and drop it in there very gently. Don't let it splash, okay? Okay, do that. There you go. Don't dye your fingers. Sweet. All right, I'm going to put one Try in. Leave the, spoon leave the spoon in it to get it out later. I'm going to do one in the yellow onion skin. 
You pick another one. What color do you think that the yellow onion skin is going to turn it? Mm, maybe an orangey, yellow, red color. Yeah, like a good flame. Guess. All right, I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to do the mixture here of the turmeric and cabbage. Let me do no one. Yep, which one do you want? I'm going to do cabbage. Okay. Cabbage is really pretty. They all seem like they're kind of reddish colors. Oh, dang it, I dyed my fingers. All right, I'm going to put one in beets. Beet, 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 beet. You pick another one? It's between red onion skin and carrot and turmeric. I think I'm going to do red onion skin. I'm gonna put one in turmeric and then I've mixed a little bit of the yellow onion skin and which one did I just do um, red onion skin yellow onion skin and red onion skin yes to see what it does all right there we go the longer we leave these in the darker the colors will turn so let's let them go okay the eggs have been in here about an hour and a half which i figures a good amount of time we're going to pull them out and take a look at the colors so this is beet juice what do you think of that one, Mad? That one's pretty cool. That one looks like awesome. Okay, this one was, do you remember? No. This one was the yellow onion skin. Hmm, that one looks cool. Not bad, right? Pretty cool color, kind of a peachy. Would you call it like peach? Yeah. Or a tan, maybe? Yeah. Sounds about right. Let's see, this one was our cabbage. That's. Like a violet rose color? It's actually more blue than I expected it to be. That was cabbage? Yeah. Huh. Red cabbage. Makes no sense because it's like purple blue. Right? Alright, and this one was our red onion skins. That's This one reminds cool. me of like an army color. Like camo. You could add some green to that. Not a bad color. That's not a bad idea either. I think you just got yourself an idea. All right, and this is blueberry. This one wasn't as pretty as I thought it was going to be. Mm -mm. It's kind of a dull bluish purple, almost gray. Yeah. <clears throat> then we've got, this is the turmeric and carrot. That's that, got a kind of yeah. nice yellow color. I kind of like that one. Mm -hmm. And then this was my weird mix of cabbage and turmeric. I was hoping it would turn kind of greenish. And it did, sort of-ish. I don't know, what color would you call that, Maddie? Blue-green. Blue-green. Turquoise. It does have like an undertone of like... Aquamarine. Greenish. That's what it is. It's aquamarine. And then this one I mixed, this was... You know what we should have done? We should have mixed all the colors. Oh, we should have. This was onion skin and beet, no, onion skin and cabbage, which is another interesting brown color. Those are all really cool colors. All right, let's slide this up here. Overall, I think I'm the impressed. colors are kind of cool for just being made from fruits and vegetables. They're not the easiest way to dye eggs for sure. I'm going to let them dry off and I've seen that if you rub them with some oil it'll make them shiny. So let's do that. Our eggs are dry and the colors have changed a little bit even now that they've dried. Yep. Um, what's your favorite Maddie? 
these two, cabbage and beets. And they look nice together, I like that. Yep. I kind of like the green, the cabbage and the turmeric together. Yeah, those, that one's pretty. Yeah, the mixing of the colors started to get kind of interesting. Overall, this was a fun experiment, but not as effective as just going and buying the dye. Right? Yep. It was a lot more work. But let me know if you guys try this at home. I'd be interested to see what colors other people come up with. Because even after looking online, these aren't the same colors other people got. So I don't know. I guess it all depends on how you mix your ingredients and how long you boil things. But thanks for checking it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little video. Catch you next time.